Hello, my name is Ikoya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Socks, and I'm here today to do a review of this It's a Wig Swiss Lace Electra wig. But before we get into that, I just want to say welcome if this is your first time coming here. Here we do wig reviews, we give hair tips, we do hair tutorials, product reviews every Monday and Friday and it's free so if you like that kind of thing go ahead and hit that subscribe button then hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop a video and if you're watching me over on Facebook I love you over on the FB too go ahead and give this video a like and a share on both platforms and then comment down below you guys on either platform that you're watching so I can know you watch let me know what do you think of this wig do you like big curly hair is it too much would you rock it here at Silky Socks we know how important it is to rock your wigs, but you also want to make them look natural, right? Everybody always wants to kind of trick you and make you think, is that a sew-in? Is that her hair? Is it a wig? And so we have put together some tips on how to make your units look more natural. The link is going to be down in the description box. It is a free download. So go ahead and check that out to make your wigs look more natural. And here at Silky Sacks, every single video, we love to send a shout out to our Silky Chicks. That is what I call my subs. And today's shout out is going to Fast Method. She is a fellow YouTuber, you guys. She is hilarious. She has a lifestyle channel where she does hauls, she does wig reviews, she does product reviews, she shows clothes. She is a local Bay Area girl just like me. So the link to her channel will be down in the description box. Go ahead and check her out and let her know that Silky Sack sent you. So now, without further ado, let's get into why you hit that link. Let's get into Electra, y'all. So first of all, I have to say, I apologize, you guys. I know I'm bringing a lot of older units right now, but I've ordered newer units. They are taking forever to get to me. So I don't want to miss a Monday and Friday of dropping content. So I've been going to my local beauty supply, buying wigs until those wigs come. And of course, some of these wigs are older units. So this one is very limited. I'm going to tell you that now. So if you're mad at me, I'm sorry. Go check your local beauty supply for this one because I was only able to find it really on one place online. Uh, maybe you can do some more searching and find it better. Maybe Amazon will have it. But this is the wigs stock card. This is Electra, you guys. Electra is an older wig and she is super cute. She's heat friendly. She is synthetic. I'm rocking her in NTT blue. And I don't know if you can um, tell because I know it looks kind of dark, at least in my viewfinder, but it is definitely a blue. It's an electric blue. It is beautiful. She is curly. She is full. Um, like I said before, she is synthetic. She's an older unit, so she is Swiss lace. And the volume on this one, I mean the density, excuse me, it's a lot of hair. Um, she comes in other colors, but like I said, because she is an older unit, she may be hard to find. This red is beautiful. I was hoping to get her in that one, but at my beauty supply, all they had was this blue one left. This blue is super, super cute. I love it. And um, because she's an older unit, there was a few things I had to do to like, you know, get her going. But for an older unit, I think she's still a goodie. Like I said, if you like this unit, go ahead and check out the link to get it. And without further ado, keep on watching so you can see the unboxing, the styling, and the pros and cons of this one. All right, so here she is. Let's go ahead and take you out, Electra. All right, so here Electra is, you guys. She is a thick. And these are like really tight spiral curls. The color is popping a beautiful like electric navy blue. Um, and it, it's more of a silkier, definitely more of a silkier texture. So let's get into the cap. The lace is very brown. So if you're lighter skin, you know, you may have a little bit of an issue with the lace, but the, it's not too much lace. So, and then you have the two combs in the back here. Um, one comb, I mean, two combs in the front. I'm sorry, you guys. One comb in the back. And of course, on the side, the two adjustable straps. And then the cap is like kind of open. So it, it stretches. So that's good because for people who have thicker hair, bigger heads, that stretch is always a good thing. So let's go ahead and put her on.
Okay, so her part is supposed to be on the side. So, you guys, yes. Where my big head girls at? Huh? Where my big hair girls at? Where they 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 at? This is cute, you guys. I like. So let's go ahead and do that 360. So this is the front. This is the right. This is the left. And this is the back. So I'm going to go ahead and style Electra, cut the lace off, and then we will come back and talk about it. All right, you guys, so I'm back from styling Electra, so let's get into it. So the first thing that I did is I went ahead and worked with the part. Because it's an older unit, the part was not that great. So before I even put the wig on, I went in and cut some hair out of the part to just help open it up. Now you can pluck it. I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time plucking it though because this is a lot of hair, so it was easier for me to just go in and cut it. So that's what I did. I just went to the roots cut some of the hair out and then I went in with concealer because this is curly it's thick um, and the color is so dark I want to make sure you could really kind of see the part more so I went in with my LA girl pro concealer and put some um, concealer on the part to just open it up so that you could tell that the part was there and then I went ahead and cut the lace off put the unit on once I put the unit on it's good it still has um, some stretch to it so my bigger hair, thicker head girls, you should still be able to rock this unit. Because it is a synthetic unit, I went ahead and put some mousse in there because synthetic units, especially ones that have color, seem to just have a little bit of frizzes and frays, and so I wanted to do that. But also because this is a curly synthetic unit, I wanted to keep the manipulation really low. So I just rubbed the mousse throughout the hair, and then after I rubbed the mousse throughout it, I went ahead and put on my little clip here just to style it up and to give it just you know a different look instead of just big curly hair just to jazz it up a little bit and then I went in again with the concealer and just made sure that you could see the part really well and also blended the concealer down into my forehead and the scalp so it kind of looks more like it's just one and blended in and then I also went in with my Silky Sacks hot comb on very low heat and then I just went in and put a little heat on the part to make sure that the hair was laying flatter there and separated so that you can really see the part because to me that's what makes older units or wigs in general look more wiggy is when you really don't have a defined part parts you know make the wig to me look a little bit more realistic so for my pros you guys this one is a easy throw on and go um, the really, I just put it on, like I said, put a little mousse in there. Now you can cut it and layer it and shape it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it in my wig cell that's coming up, so I didn't want to get into too much customization, but you definitely can frame it to your face. Also, if this is too much hair for you, I like big hair, but if you don't like big hair, you definitely can go in and thin her out and cut some of the tracks and some of the hair out. Um, as far as um, cons, really the only con for me was the part. Because it's an older unit, I had to go in and do a little work with the part. And of course, because it's synthetic and it's curly, it's probably not going to last too long, especially if you do a lot of manipulating to it. But you know, you can't really expect a synthetic curly unit, especially an older unit, to last forever. But I think it's beautiful. I love that it's serving color. I love that it's a part. I apologize because I've only found it in one place and the colors are limited. So really go and check your beauty supplies. Like I said earlier, if you want to rock this unit, it had uh, that beautiful red on the stock card. And I, if I could get my hands on that red, I would love to do that too. So this one for me is definitely one to have in the collection. And when I'm done rocking this wig, of course, I'm not going to put it back into the plastic bag so that I could get all dried out and matted. I'm going to store it in my luxurious silky sack. A silky sack is a silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wigs, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, matting, and tangling that wigs usually do and normally do when you just store them back in a box in your drawer or wherever. So if you want to check out Silky Sacks and the products that we sell, please check the description box. The link to our website will be there. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, better care is better wear, and I hope to see you again on Monday.